Have you ever wondered how African-American slavery in the 1700s began, a dark era that forever shaped the history of the United States? Our story begins in the early 1700s with the arrival of the first African slaves in Virginia in 1619. The genesis of a tragic era that would endure for centuries. This period witnessed the progression of slavery as a legal institution, a system that became integral to the economic framework of the burgeoning colonies. The transatlantic slave trade played a significant role, with millions of Africans forcibly removed from their homelands and transported across the Atlantic under grueling conditions, a horrifying journey known as the Middle Passage. Shackled and packed into the dimly lit hulls of slave ships, they faced unimaginable hardships. As the 1700s began, slavery was firmly established as a cornerstone of the burgeoning American economy. It was the dawn of a tragic chapter in American history, an era of profound suffering and enduring resilience. Imagine living a life where freedom is a foreign concept, a life under the harsh whip of slavery. The daily existence of African-American slaves in the 1700s was filled with backbreaking labor on vast plantations. They toiled from sun up to sundown, their hands hardened by the relentless work. Yet their spirits were not easily crushed. Their living conditions were deplorable, often crammed into small, poorly ventilated cabins. Yet, within these tight confines, they managed to forge strong, familial ties, a testament to their resilience. The family unit became a source of strength and solace, a refuge from the brutality of their existence. Despite the oppressive circumstances, they held on to their cultural traditions. Music, dance, and storytelling became essential tools for survival preserving their identity and offering a glimmer of hope amidst the despair. Despite the unbearable hardships, African-American slaves in the 1700s managed to maintain a sense of identity and community. But what happens when the oppressed decide they have had enough? Rebellion brews. In the 1700s, African-American slaves found numerous ways to resist their oppressors. Some were subtle acts of defiance, like feigning illness, deliberately working slowly, or even secretly learning to read and write. Others were more overt, such as running away, which was a constant threat to the slaveholders' regime. And then, there were the full-blown uprisings. The most notable one was the Stono Rebellion in 1739, where approximately 20 slaves led by a man named Jemmy set out on a mission to secure their freedom. Marching down the Stono River, they gathered more slaves, burnt plantations, and fought off slaveholders. Their courage and bravery were extraordinary. These acts of resistance, while often brutally suppressed, were the first sparks of the long fight for emancipation. This was their way of saying enough is enough. Their spirit, their undying desire for freedom was a beacon of hope in the darkest of times. How has the legacy of African-American slavery in the 1700s impacted the United States today? This question invites us on a journey through the echoes of history that resonate into the present day. The legacy of African-American slavery in the 1700s is deeply woven into the fabric of American society and culture. It manifests in the racial disparities and systemic racism that persist to this day. These disparities are evident in areas such as education, housing, and criminal justice, reminding us that the chains of the past are not entirely broken. However, this legacy is not just one of pain and injustice. Despite the oppressive shackles of slavery, African Americans have made significant contributions to the nation's history and culture. They've enriched America with vibrant music, literature, sports, and scientific advancements, showcasing their resilience and strength in the face of adversity. The legacy of African American slavery in the 1700s is a painful reminder of a dark era, but it also serves as a testament to the resilience and strength of African Americans throughout history.